Welcome to Two Feathers Restorations and Design. On this week's What's Going On in the Shop, we had some bad news to give to our customers last night and this morning. Uh, we were in the Boston area and returned to our shop at uh, 8.20 p.m. Uh, earlier that evening around 6 p.m., apparently there was about a 10 minute, five to 10 minute microburst or possible tornado, we were told, um, that went through our area. But apparently throughout Massachusetts, there was high winds. So we're not quite sure what type of event it is at this point in time. But what we do know is the damage that we received in our county in which our shop resides. So from buildings with roofs re removed from it to many down trees, uh, including trees that crashed into people's homes. Uh, in our case, we had three trailers heavily damaged, um, both as travelies an Airstream, and a Yellowstone that was due to come into the shop today to start its restoration. Um, as you know, when something like this happens, everything's put on hold. So the tree crew is expected any time today. Um, it's after 4 o'clock now um, or first thing in the morning. So they're all working diligently. It's first come, first serve. Um, we called as soon as we could. But uh, apparently a lot of people had already called prior to 8.30 at night. So we're going to make a tour around the shop and show you what it looked like this morning. So we got to this, uh, got back to the shop here this morning, um, a little after 8 o'clock and uh, Got the Allegro Bay moved out of the way. Uh, started to clear the lot so that the uh, tree company can come out, give us a quote. Um, we wanted to begin to assess the extent of the damages that we can see as far as the three campers that were involved in this. Um, we still have one camper. We are still attempting to try to get a hold of the owners, uh, the family that owns it um, but you can just see uh, the tree to the left had snapped off that's the one that caused damage um, behind the shop there that's all marsh area uh, quite a distance away but uh, quite a few trees actually came down out there um, but we were moving things around um, these vehicles that you see here were already parked over here, so we already had them out of the way prior to the storm, but that was not because we knew about high winds. Um, those have been actually parked over there uh, for the past week. So normally we don't have these kind of problems. Uh, the four years the shop's been here, um, you know, we cleared out every tree we're allowed to clear out by the town. Um, so all of our trees were removed. And uh, this tree here is actually from a neighboring property. And uh, the wind only lasted between five to 10 minutes tops. And um, according to the neighbor and uh, other people we've talked to in the county, um, buildings have lost roofs, um, lots of downed trees. Uh, people have had trees land into their kitchen. Uh, one of our employees here as a friend that uh, one came right into her kitchen through the roof. Uh, so the travelies here, um, out of respect to the owners, were not going inside to show the interior. Um, we'll be sending private uh, photos to their emails. Um, this trailer has taken quite a hit. Um, you can kind of see how it came down. Uh, it's nicked this corner. Um, but also it collapsed the tongue jack completely. Uh, the whole front wall uh, did collapse down as well. Um, the roof uh, up there is completely, completely affected. Um, so it took quite a hit. Um, there's still quite a bit of weight um, with these branches here. All these trees are all bent over that were not prior, prior, prior to this event. Um, so we do have permission from the town and the um, the neighbor who owns this section of the property um, 
he allows us to park our vehicles on it because it's just a little small section that's worthless uh, for his use. So this little Airstream, it does have a dent in the roof where we've been attempting to try to get a hold of the owner uh, family uh, since the owner has passed away. Our Yellowstone here, this was due to come in today to our shop to start the restoration. Um, we already expected to take this front section of the trailer apart um, due to uh, water damage and such that we had already seen. Um, but we didn't expect to have to replace the windows. Um, of course, there's windows that need some attention, but not this kind of attention. Um, so now we're going to be looking for at least this window you can see here. I'll cut in some other photos I have taken. Um, on the travel ease on this side, um, all the windows are good on the travel ease. Um, the rock guard, um, everything like that. So we will be able to replace the siding um, and the structure that was damaged. Um, by now it's uh, 3.45 p.m. Um, the insurance company has been called. We're just waiting on the adjusters. Uh, we've been asked, asking them to expedite it. Uh, we're just waiting. Now on the Yellowstone, um, that front tongue, it, it is bent. Um, don't let that fool you. But it is also heavily rusted. Um, so we would expect that to be bent. Um, but that's pretty devastating as well um, between these two trailers. Um, that door is perfectly okay, so it's just forward of that door. Um, we haven't gone inside. Uh, we don't want to risk... Um, until these tree pieces are removed, we're not going in. Um, the travel ease we've had open, but again, I was a fool last night and kind of went in. Um, and, uh, you know, the upper cabinets in the front, across the front, are heavily damaged. And uh, above the kitchenette um, area, those cabinets came down, so... The way it was restored, it appears that they had installed the ceiling panels from inside the camper, which is not appropriate. Um, so those easily fell down. Um, so we'll be restoring that portion of the camper correctly. Um, these trailers here are perfectly fine, um, but they have all been moved at this point, um, now this time of day. So we are ready for the tree crews to come in and take care of this. Um, first thing in the morning because it's now four o'clock I doubt they're coming in um, at this point they could surprise us after we leave you can see across the street here they are clearing trees that's a lumber yard they have their own equipment so they were taking care of three or two or three trees there that are uh, heavily damaged um, and that's just in one section of their property they had other trees as well they're cutting all day long um, Now this video is going to be uh, released strictly to the owners here initially um, before we uh, publicly release it um, because we have had inquiries. Um, you know, the news channels were flying over this morning in the helicopter or that could have been the government, who knows, but there was a lot of helicopter activity this morning. Um, different news channels were going by this evening, um, things of that nature. I don't know if any news crews stopped at our location as of yet, um, but I know they're in the area. Um, so we did contact uh, the owners of these trailers right away last night. Uh, we've made a contact of all of our RV owners. Um, some have not yet responded, but uh, we're walking back now to our Greyhound project that's part of our uh, traveling museum and unfortunately we had trees come down on it and damage the bus as well. Um, we'll have a separate video um, showing the damage inside the bus. Um, I did find a dent on the side of the bus. I was able to show uh, the damage on the rear of the bus. This is giving you a full tour of the extent of the damage on the overall property. So it's not just a particular sp spot on the property at this time. Um, I am doing a voiceover just because uh, 
it was emotional walking around this morning and still trying to calm down and be collective. Um, you know, your, your heart and soul is in a property like this, um, as well as the projects you work on. So here you can see the some of the dents and the broken glass clearance lights and whatnot there. And there's a whole separate tree over here that came over. Um, small trees, but um, this one to the right, I didn't think caused it a, down, uh, a dent at all, but it actually did. Um, but not not too bad. It's it's an actually easy dent to get out. The one on the back, on the other hand, is a whole nother ball game. And you can see at this angle, it's just as extensive as the tree that took out the two trailers in front of the shop. So this pretty much is concluding um, the damage. Um, we're going to turn around here, spin around, and show this tree from a little bit of a distance. But at this point, all insurance has been contacted. We're just waiting for um, a response from an agent uh, to get back with us and get the process started um, so that way we can get the claim started um, so we can get the repairs going. Um, our own building is damaged a little bit. We don't know to what extent until the tree's cleared. We can get up there. Um, but we're not the only ones that were affected, but unfortunately it does happen to yourself when you think it would never happen. It does. So <coughs> this is where we are. <coughs> um, all these vehicles here are now moved and uh, we are ready to pick up the pieces so but this gives our owners the idea of what we went through um, and what happened to their vehicles if they were damaged um, we'll be working with the insurance companies with photography all the details we need to do to expedite um, getting everything cleaned up and the repairs started right away um, so there's really not much you can say or do but pick up the pieces so we've waterproofed the travelies as much as possible we have some uh, special type of tape on the skins that tore um, fantastic fan I guess the the lid is cracked um, no rain is expected in the next 24 hours so we will complete the waterproofing process um, tomorrow after the trees are cleared and uh, we'll put a car cover that belongs to the owner on the trailer um, kind of keep it kind of waterproof we'll put plastic on top of it before we put the uh, cover on carefully and uh, Go from there so one step at a time so there you have it Well, thank you for joining us um, and looking at the video here today. Um, if you'd like to give some support to our Yellowstone owner, we are going to be looking for two front windows and the side window. Uh, we will make available the information for the part number on that uh, set of windows that we'll be looking for. Um, <clears throat> we aren't going to be able to get into the inside here uh, until the trees are cleared, but. Uh, we don't expect that there's going to be anything from the interior that we'll need, but there's possible some interior lights. Um, as far as the travelies, uh, we won't need anything from anybody on that project. Um, at this point, all the windows and, and
and all those items are all good. Uh, trim pieces we have here in stock, including uh, the siding we can make, so uh, that trailer's good to go. Um, we'll address the Airstream uh, once we can uh, make contact with the family. Um, we're going to have to assess that trailer as well, so that, that'll be all skin work on that. Um, so at this point in time, uh, that's, that's about all it. So thank you for joining us, and uh, join us for our next episode of What's Going On in the Shop.